What's up, America? Today we need to have a little chit chat. It's very, very deep. I want you to pay attention. I want you to hang on every word. Right now, we're in a crisis, and I'm not talking about the pandemic. I'm talking about a crisis that was happening before the pandemic that you, yes, you, America, may be part of. So listen up. I want you to take heed of the things that I'm about to say. If this is your first time here, what I need you to do is to go below and enroll in 30 days to 2,500 so you can start your side business. And also get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success audiobook. These two tools will help you make more money and start to have a more prosperous life. All right, America, let's, let's just go ahead and talk about the global reset. Right now, Germany's economy is in a recession. China's economy is in a recession. We're in a recession. Everyone is suffering globally. But here's the thing that no one talks about. What was life like before the pandemic? There were many people who were late on their car payments. There were many people who were late on their credit card payments. There were many people that were adapting van life because they didn't want to pay rent or they could not afford to live in their city. Here is something that's about to be this that's been happening for a minute. And this crisis has literally escalated it. And that's what I like to call the left behind segments of society. These are people who are going to be left way behind. These are going to be the people who are going to be on the negative side of the wealth gap. These are going to be the people who are going to create generational lower class income and poverty for their unborn descendants. America, pay attention. The left behind is a real thing. Now, how does one get left behind? The absolute refusal to adopt technology. Technology rules the world. Technology is everything. And there are many people who refuse to adapt technology. There are many people who don't even like to use technology and they're gonna get left behind. The left behind is gonna be composed of many different classes of people. Many formal middle class people will now move to the left behind class. They will be part of this exploding massive population segment that is just going to be catching it. Cause here's the thing that's gonna happen. As you saw my video talking about the hostile unemployment situation that is plaguing the world, it's not just going to be America, America, it's literally going to be the world that people who survived the pandemic, companies that did really well, companies that had fat balance sheets, they're going to become really picky and choosy. And you thought you were abused before the pandemic. You ain't seen nothing yet, America. You ain't seen nothing. But part of this global reset is a shift in the economy. I have a friend, his name's David, and we, we've talked about this many, many times that the world cannot have two Americas. You cannot have two countries that consume as much as we do. You, it just, it, it's just, it's untenable. And this is one of the reasons that we're having the global reset because the left behind segment will be part of the mass migration to lower class. We're gonna have many people who are gonna literally slide out of the middle class and they're gonna slide to lower class. And this is gonna be very different than the, when we started to outsource our manufacturing to first to Japan and then to China. That actually put a hole in the middle class. My uncle Martin was able to leave Alabama, go up to Detroit, get a job at GM and work 30 years and raise a family. That, that, that path is gone. It is literally gone of upward mobility that literally you could graduate high school, go to a factory floor and literally spend your whole working career there and advance. That's gone. And this is part of the global reset. And this is why there are going to be so many people who are going to left behind. Right now, we have people on Facebook who are having conversations about is the mask effective or is it not effective? 
We're having people who are having conversations about the vaccine. I'm not taking this vaccine. It hasn't even been developed yet. But the conversations that they should be having are about economics, and these conversations are not happening. America, the folks are not talking about the economy. They're not talking about the GDP. They're not talking about the national debt. They're sitting around talking about, well, these people are wearing these masks. They stupid because the mask is not going to prevent the transmission of the virus. They just stupid. And I, I see this all day long. And I see because America, you know, excuse me, but many of you are unfocused and you're having these deep, passionate debates about things that don't matter. They don't really matter. Like, you know, wearing the mask. I'm a mask wearer. You know, I'm one of the people they talk about. But one of the things that you got to understand, America, is this huge global reset. And part of it, part of me feels that it's happening to harm America because you can't have two Americas. And as like what happened to Japan? Japan's economy was growing so fast. It was booming. Then they ran into the stagnation thing because it was once thought that Japan's economy was going to overtake ours because this is how fast it was growing. And then they just hit this wall. I feel that we're gonna hit a wall, but in this economy, the masses, the masses are gonna get left behind. And what you're going to see is an emerging creative class, an emerging entrepreneur class, and an emerging, and we're gonna have our first trillionaire. We're gonna have one individual on the planet who has more money than half of the planet. This is coming because of technology and automation, America, it's coming. But we're gonna have so many people who are just gonna literally get be left behind. And in my older videos, I used to talk about this. I used to call this the badlands, that the rich people would be in the cities. And you're, you're beginning to see this, that many people are fleeing California, they're fleeing New York, because the cost of living is so high and they're, more, they're going to places with cheaper rent and cheaper cost of living it's already happening i guarantee you in about 15 20 years the only people who are going to be living in metropolitan cities are going to be the rich folks that's that's they're going to they're, they're going to be the only group of people who can afford to live in these cities look at what happened to san francisco look what's happening to los angeles look what happened to new york so we have a lot of people who are fleeing these cities and they're they're, they're just like because they can't afford to live there that's the first sign. The second sign is just when you, America, was starting to get on the cost of living a raise, wages were starting to go up for the last three to four years. Wages have been going up. <laughs> Boom. Reset. Wages are about to start back to that limping along to where they were. You were your name was Bill and Bill used to be a manager at such and such company and Bill you just lost your job and your company went out of business and now you're going to be stocking shelves at Kroger. And Bill, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be happy to have that job because we're going to have high inflation for a minute. I mean, high unemployment for a minute. And Bill, it's radically going to change your life. Bill, you're going to look at your former life as it was a fantasy because in many ways it was an illusion. See, you were never as prosperous as you thought you were. You didn't have any money. You had a lot of debt. And every day was to eke out an existence. You were never living in an abundant lifestyle, Bill. But you thought you were doing well because, you know, you had a job. You had a fancy title. You had a nice car. You had a nice little wife. You thought you were doing well. And then someone pulled the rug from under you. Now you're just like everyone else. You're in a sea of sweaty mass humanity. You're just out there duking it out, taking it one day at a time, trying to do the best you can to make the best of your situation. And Bill, you're gonna have a lot of company. You're gonna have a lot of company because with this global reset, it is resetting and it's gonna move a lot of Americans down. This is the left behind. So I know you're asking yourself, hey, Glendon, I know that you, you talk about this stuff and I understand and I appreciate it, but what's the solution? I don't want to be left behind. 
I'm glad you asked America. This is one of the things that you need to do. You need to become a perpetual student. You, every year you need to learn new stuff. You need to be learning new skills. You need to, every two to three years, you need to reset yourself or you will be reset. Meaning that you're going to increase your job skills. You're going to increase your value to an employer. And Bill, you're going to start your own business. I know, I know, I know when I talk about that, people are like, I don't want to start my own business. I want to do Forex. I want to do day trading. I want to be an investor. I just want to chill. I just want to be hanging out with sexy Susan, big booty Betty. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start a business, man. I don't want that pressure. America, you're going to have, because th this is why I feel that entrepreneurship is about to explode because the pain of being left behind is going to be so great that it's going to force you to change. It's going to force you to do things that you didn't want to do. It's going to force you to adapt new perspectives, America, because right now we're in the midst of this thing, because right now I have a lot of people who are saying we're going to have a V-shaped econ v economy. It's not going to come because America, we're still going down. We must go down, hit the bottom before we can start coming up. We're still going down. Granted, unemployment was like 6.6 .6 for two or three weeks. Then it went down to five. So, but here's the thing, America, there are many of you that are still unemployed. And right now you're living that super stimulus life because you're getting an additional 600 bucks per week and you're making more money sitting at home doing nothing than when you were working. But America, it's temporary. It's not going to last as long as you think. And one of my favorite expressions is luxuries once tasted become necessities. And you're going to be like, these rappers whose career imploded and they still got that thirst because they remember those bright lights and fancy stages and you're going to want it back. And this is going to be a mental hardship for many of you. So I urge you to start a business, to start making your own way, to become self-sufficient. I urge you. So let's talk about things that you can do to not be left behind. One of, the, one of the best things you can do to not be left behind is to start a business. And I'm going to tell you why. When I started my business, I got exposed to more people, more connections, more networks than ever before. So starting a business is going to force you to grow as a person. And you need to grow, America. You need to grow. Because one of the things that's going to happen, one of the things that is really, because right now, I think 40 Almost 50 million people are on Snap, and this was before the pandemic. 50 million people were food insecure, as they call it, or as I like to say, they were going to bed hungry, but they call it being food insecure. This was before the pandemic. Their ranks have just swollen by probably another 30 probably another 30 to 40 million people. So we probably have 80 to 90 people in America who are food insecure, who don't know where their next meal is coming from, who look in the refrigerator and all they see is that water jug. America, this is setting the stage for the future. This is not going to be temporary because once again, America, hear what happens when you lose your job. The longer, when you lose your job and the longer you stay unemployed, you damage future earnings for decades. Going back to my video where the economic environment is going to be very hostile for employees, you're not going to be able to get those wages unless you make yourself so valuable to an employer that they come looking for you. See, this is where you need to be, America, not to get left behind. You need to be such a high value person that you don't have to apply for jobs. They come looking for you. That's what you're going to have to do if you continue to remain an employee versus an employer. 
you're going to have to be that valuable that literally every week recruiters are ringing your phone. Hey, Bill, would you want to come work for XYZ Corporation? We will give you double what you're making now. If you're not getting those phone calls, it's going to be a sad, sad, long day, America, because the left behind is going to have many bad outcomes. The schooling for the children in the left behind is going to be substandard. You think school's bad now? You ain't seen nothing yet, America. School's going to be bad. The food is going to be worse. All of these artificial steroid induced foods that we consume now, that's the only thing you're going to be able to afford is crap. You're not going to be able to afford the grass fed beef. You're not going to be able to afford the organic milk. You're not going to be able to afford the gently plowed onions. You're not going to be able to afford that, America. So you're going to, your, your kids are going to have a bad diet. And then they're going to go to a substandard school. And what this is going to do is create a new economic lower class. You, I mean, seriously, America, when you, when you become a member of the left behind class, your children have no clue. Your children have no chance at that future. So I know this is going to sound strange to the mig toe and the red pill men. But if you don't want to be left behind, one of the things you need to do is get married. I know, I know y'all don't want to hear that. You need to get married. You need to start building strong networks and strong families because this is going to be your buffer between being left behind and not left behind. Let me tell you how when I was growing up, there were no homeless people in my neighborhood. Everyone had family. Everyone had someone they could stay with. Everyone had a grandparent, an auntie or someone living up in the house. There were no homeless people. Right now, America, you're going to have to start building families, building communities and building networks if you don't want to be left behind. Because once you get to being left behind, it's too late. It's kind of like closing the barn door after the horse has left America. You're going to have to get busy becoming human again. You're going to have to start getting to know people my millennials, you're going to have to start like actually talking on the phone. I know, I know, I know y'all don't like that. You like to text. I have a millennial friend. It's like I called him. He said, why you call me? Why don't you just text me? Y'all got to let that go. They're going to let that go. America, the, the left behind syndrome is going to be so pernicious, so pervasive that you will be a member of the left behind segment before you even know it. Many of you are already there because of this pandemic. And the thing is, the, becoming a member of the left behind, it was going to happen. It was going to happen before the pandemic. The pandemic just dramatically increased the pace of people sliding over to the left behind segment. There are so many people who are going to be part of the left behind. There are going to be so many people who are unconscious of what is happening. They're just gonna like, I go to work every day. I work so hard. I just can't get ahead. Because you remember the left behind segment. You don't understand what you don't know. You don't understand what is happening. You don't understand the game that was played upon you. Because I'm about to say something that may be a little offensive. But one of the reasons that you are left behind is because the 9.9% .9 did not want to share. And you're like, what? They didn't want to share. See, the 9.9% .9 is the buffer zone between you and the 1%. The 9.9% .9 is your doctors, your judges, your attorneys, your real estate people. The 9.9% .9 has been putting in policy after policy for decades that will keep you in an economic moat. 
and they don't even realize what they're doing. It's just like, I'm trying to take care of my family. I'm just trying to look out for my kids. And these policies have been corrosive to your well-being. And it, it was funny when people was like, occupying Wall Street against the, you're, we're the 99.9, see, your ratios are wrong. There's the 1%, which are the ultra wealthy, and there's the 9.9% who have incomes of $250,000 a year or more. The 9.9% is the group that has prevented you from advancing. I'm a member of the 9.9%. I just have a generous heart. I know what's going on. I know that once I leave my neighborhood of manicured lawns and mansions and stuff, that the world is very, very different. I know this because every time I leave my neighborhood and I go somewhere that's not like this, it is so pronounced how jacked up and how messed up these places are. In America, this is going, you're going to start to see neighborhoods crumble. You're going to see solid working class neighborhoods crumble and they will be gentrified by the 9.9%. They will be taking over these neighborhoods. Because like, remember what I said, it's going to be the rich folks living in the cities. You ain't going to be able to afford to live in the city. You're going to have to live way out. You're going to have to get your big house out in the country if you're able to even do that. So let's get back to some more solutions. What can one do to not be left behind? Number one, reset yourself each and every year. Figure out how you can always increase your skill sets. Number two, get married. Build a strong family unit. Number three, start a business. Start a business. You're not going to lay yourself off. And the business is going to allow you to practice accelerated income because business owners make more money than regular folk. Number four, practice sound financial money management practices. No more financing cars. No more buying junk on credit. Stop it. Stop it, America. Stop it. Take your hand out the cookie jar. No more cookies for you, America. Because these are the things you're gonna have to do to present your, prevent yourself from being left behind. And how do I know this? I was a member of the left behind segment once in my life. Yes, yours truly, I was there. I wrecked my car. I lost my job. I was homeless. And I found myself in a state of purgatory for three years because I didn't have skill sets. I didn't do any of the stuff that I told you to do, America. I didn't do none of that. I was just out here living my life. I was operating under a false narrative. I'm a good person. Society don't give a damn if you're a good person or not. I'm a hard worker. The only people who care about your hard work is the company that's employing you so they can exploit your hard work for more profit. See, I was thinking that I was a good person, a hard worker, and I thought that was a lot of value to society. Society didn't give a crap. Society didn't even care. Like right now, I'm, a, I'm about to say some stuff about you, America. All of these stores are going out of business. And what did you do, America? I could get a deal. You didn't think that that store owner was going to lose his livelihood. You didn't think about these employees that were losing their jobs. All you cared about is I could get a deal. That's what I'm talking about. No one cares about your pain. No one gives a damn. So this is, was the delusion that I was under that, you know, all of these values that I had, all of the stuff that I was supposed to be, all of these things that, um, I was pr supposedly presenting to the world at the end of the day, America, I wasn't presenting nothing to the world. I was under an illusion. I was asleep when I was a member of the left behind class. And that's where many of you are going unless you practice and do what I say. I understand I'm just another dude on the internet, America. I'm your favorite YouTuber on them. I get that, I get that. But 
I'm here to tell you what's coming. I'm here to tell you what is here. And if you don't start changing your ways, changing how you manage your money, changing how you manage your career, you're going to get left behind. You're going to be part of that crew. It's going to be like some out of a Mad Max movie where all the sedity folks live in the city and wear silk gowns and all of the people out there in the badlands chasing sand scorpions for fun. Your kids will be chasing sand scorpions because that's the only toys they're going to have to play with because you don't have no money to buy them no toys. America, don't become a member of the left behind class. And I know that many people will not see this message and I'm so sorry, but you, you, you're, 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 you're treading on some dangerous territory because right now we have 38, almost 40 million people that lost their jobs. And these are the people who have filed for unemployment. In America, I hope you enjoy your employment, unemployment, because it ain't gonna last long. Because the Democrats want to give you an extended version of these unemployment benefits until next year, and the GOP doesn't. Democrats can't do it without the GOP, so it ain't gonna happen. So enjoy your unemployment benefits while they're here, but while you're home, unemployed, start leveling up your skill sets. Do not play around. Each day you should wake up even as if you had a job. You should brush your teeth. You should put on your clothes. You should get ready for your day as if you were going somewhere because you are somebody, America. I'm here to tell you, you somebody. And I'm going to tell you something else too. Somebody has your money in their pocket and it is your job, it is your duty to extract that money to service. Right now, someone's literally walking around with $10 million of your money, but you ain't doing nothing to get your money because you are asleep. You're one of those people who feel that, hey, you know, I was doing okay, I had a job. I was living my life, I was doing okay, I was paying my bills. And the minute the carpet was yanked from under you, you became a member of the left behind class. And I'm here to tell you, getting out of the left behind class, it's hard. It is easier to prevent going there. What is it? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there, man. I'm trying to tell you, but this is going to happen, and it's not just going to happen here in America. It's going to happen literally around the world. Syndrome is going to happen in every country. It's going to happen in China. It's going to happen in the UK. It's going to happen in Germany. And then for all of these third world countries, things are just going to get worse. So America, take heed, begin building. Begin thinking about your future. Begin thinking about your unborn children's future. Because I'm, a, I'm here to tell you, I know that a lot of people don't want to hear this, but you're going to be better off going ahead and building you a family, building you a real family, than being out here being a Lone Ranger. Because during the great economic collapse of Bosnia and Argentina, it was all the Lone Wolves that were clipped off first. They didn't have no family. They didn't have a network. They didn't have an agenda. And that's another thing, America, you're gonna have to get yourself an economic agenda. I know people don't like talking about money, but you're gonna have to get yourself one. You're gonna have to have a written agenda of things that you want to do economically. Write it down. I'm giving you part of the puzzle 30 days to 2500 i am giving you the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success don't just get it because it's free actually get it and go through the course do the work so you don't get left behind i got another video for you right here check it out